Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada in this single story home for sale here. We're up here in Henderson, Nevada in Anthem and wow what a view. I'm going to turn just a little bit so you can see where we're at. I don't know if you're going to be able to see exactly here but this is an entire view of the valley. We're in a cul-de-sac. We have the whole strip here unobstructed. You can see the sphere, Allegiant Stadium, Stratosphere and everything in between absolutely gorgeous lot we're perched up high here we're in 89052 today and i have this home for sale ranch style home 2215 square feet of living space three bedrooms and two baths built in 2000 and i'm not going to tell you the price right away what i'm going to do is we're going to tour this home all the way through and then i'm going to let you know the price at the end but i would love for you to just kind of give me a guess based on the location based on this view what you think the price is. Oh yeah, this is a very unique house and that's kind of part of the reason I want to do this because I don't know what to make of it. It's a very unique floor plan. Uh, you know, up here in Sun City, there's, there's about 12 models that are all the same home. So, you know, they basically, you have one of 12 to choose from back in 2000s when you were building these homes. And this one, I haven't seen a home like this. I think this is actually an addition right here in the front. Where is it at? Right here. I think it's an addition because I really haven't seen this floor plan and I've been in so many homes up here. So we're going to go inside. We're going to tour it top to bottom. I'm going to give you that big reveal later on towards the end of the video of what the price is and we're going to tour this, find out if it's the right home for you. If you can't wait for the price, just give me a call. My, my number's all over the place here. Give me a call. I'll tell you right away. But I'm Andrew Guy, your local licensed realtor, Henderson, Las Vegas, and Summerlin. And we're up here high in Henderson, overlooking the strip. Let's go inside and check this one out. Follow me. All right, here we are. There's your beautiful strip view. We're in the cul-de-sac here. And I'll kind of show you around where we're at. This is going to be Sun City Anthem Parkway here to my left. We're at the end of the neighborhood. This kind of corner lot although it is a circle I don't think circles have corners but you know what I mean it's on the edge you're gonna have an oversized lot here the lots 8712 square feet you can see all this cactus over here to the left very clean desert landscape you have an outdoor patio here you're also gonna have the backyard and the courtyard I do like the curb appeal you have these Mexican fan palms, tall thin one and two short chubby guys. Um, and you can see at the base here, you can actually get these cleaned really nice all the way up and it'll look like this does at the bottom here. So you can get those cleaned up or you can go with kind of the little more of the rugged look there. And a single story home near Las Vegas. We're about 20 minutes from Las Vegas, 25 minutes from Summerlin here. We have a two car garage. Looks like a swamp cooler in the garage. Uh, we're actually not gonna be looking in the garage today. There's a lot of stuff in there and a couple cars, so we won't be in there. But you can see a much newer air conditioner than 2000. Three bedroom, two bath, 2,215 square feet of living space. And I think this home's all about the views in my opinion. Do you have a motion sensor with the light there? There is low voltage lighting throughout as well. I like these modern lights on the, on the left side here. Spanish tile roof, good looking color. And then we've changed kind of the pattern of the concrete here. And these rose bushes to the left in the pots have their own watering system. So you can see if they run too long, it does get a little wet over here. We have a fountain in the corner. And then I do like this light a lot as well. We have the covered patio, the ironwork up top there. It's a little extra detail. And yeah, a little covered entryway here. Put your packages, keep them out of the weather. But yeah, let's go inside and take a look at this unique home. All right, as we walk in, if it's your first time here, your 10th time here, your 100th time here, hit that subscribe button. You don't wanna miss these tours I put out every single day of the week. The only channel on YouTube where you can see a Las Vegas new listing every day of the week. And if you wouldn't mind supporting me by just giving me a quick thumbs up. Thank you so much. I do really like this tile on the floor. 
It's about a 16 inch square tile. I do like the pattern and the look of it. It's very nice. And then we'll just take a quick look back at this entryway. We do have the plantation shutters throughout the home. We're going to see a lot of those. We also have the alert switch. You put this in the middle position. That light out front is going to flash, basically letting you, uh, your neighbors know, not you, you would already know. It's going to let your neighbors know that you need some sort of assistance. And people in this neighborhood do look out for that. We are in a 55 plus and they will look out there. And, and if you see a light flashing on the porch, you know something's up and you want to go check on your neighbors. So it is a nice little feature. All the homes up here have it. And this is one of the places with the most amenities. They have a clubhouse, a community, actually three community centers. Pools, outdoor pools, indoor pools, spas, exercise rooms, fitness centers, jogging areas, pickleball courts, recreation rooms, tons of social clubs with the social calendar, outdoor spas, tennis courts. If you go down to the main area here at uh, Sun City Anthem Clubhouse, like the main one there off Eastern, you're going to see about I don't know, 20 or 30 different club activities happening at any given time, any day of the week. I mean, it is just, it is really, really an exciting place if, if that's what you're into. There's so much. There's pool tables, table tennis. I mean, you name it. They have it there. Card clubs, a lot of people playing cards, craft rooms, all kinds of stuff. We're into the laundry room here. And I do like these pullouts on this shelf. Your blinds must be closed to use them. I do like those pullouts. Very effective manner of storing things. We have the washer and dryer do come with the home as well as the refrigerator here. I think yes, refrigerator does come with the home. These are Kenmore. We got a top load washer. Uh, GE dryer here, gas dryer, some shelving cabinets. We even have a little shelf over here, place to hang your keys, maybe your hat or your coat in a mirror. This is going to be the garage, two car garage, uh, a little bit oversized garage there. But again, uh, there's a lot of things out there and I just don't want to invade the owner's privacy here. Nice, bright fluorescent light. We're going to have storage cabinets on the right here too. Did I miss the light? I did. There we go. Missed the light switch. Happens every time. So we have a nice closet here, coat closet. Could almost turn this into a really nice valet if you wanted to take the doors off and kind of, you know, put a little bench in there, place for shoes. Or you can just use it as a storage closet, coat closet. So that's good to see. The home is painted white. We do have an accent dark gray wall there, which we'll check out in a few minutes. And it is a three bedroom, two bath here. So first place we're going to go. I don't know what this is. Does anyone know what this is? I was looking at it. I was trying to figure it out. I thought maybe I could figure it out if I just looked at it and kind of explored it, but I have no idea what that is. It says, uh, Lewis, Lewis shopper. Leipzig or something. So maybe it's German. Shopper. Shopper. Shopper with a C. Um, do you know what that is? If you do, please let me know in the comments below. I was very intrigued. I was going to look it up, but I figured I'd just ask you all. all right? Rely on my, my viewers to let me know what that is. Um, so transitions from this tile into this laminate wood look here into the primary bedroom. And it's a very, very large primary bedroom. We have, I was outside talking to the neighbor and while we were talking, I ended up crumpling up my paper. Well, I didn't crumple it up, but I kind of folded it up in my hands. Now I can't find anything on it. Are there dimensions here? Yes, 15 by 17 here. So very large primary bedroom. We're gonna have nine foot ceilings throughout the home. We do have a modern ceiling fan. A home built in 2000. So these homes out in this community were built from 2000 to 2007. 
There may be a couple 1999s, but not very many. We have this bay window here with all the windows looking out back and the little cutout. But yeah, plenty of room in here to do whatever you need to do. You have a half hot there controlled by the light switch. And I think this is going to be your TV wall on this side, if I had to guess. It'd be kind of weird having the bed right there walking in. So I think the bed's going to be over to our left. And then an eight foot entry going into the primary bathroom there. And in here, there's a little bit of color on the walls. I don't know if I'd call it color. I guess gray is a color, but just a little hint of gray. Maybe that agreeable gray that I like to talk about. But that's going to be here with the white baseboards. And then we transition, transition into a different type of tile here for the primary be, uh, bathroom. I'm having trouble spitting the words out here. I wasted all my gab on the neighbor. Met the neighbor, very nice guy. Uh, so we have this one piece fiberglass uh, sink here with the fiberglass countertops. So that's going to be all original there. We do have a full length mirror here as well, the medicine cabinet. Um, so some of the homes dated, some of it's updated. Like I said, very interesting, unique home. You aren't seeing it yet, but trust me, we're going to get there. We're going to get to some very interesting parts of this home. Large fiberglass tub there, soaker tub, big window looking out. This window is also frosted, so you don't necessarily have to keep those closed. You can let the light in and still have your privacy. And then we have the ever so clean fiberglass shower. We do have a grab bar there the wand, the shower head. Now the shower head seems kind of low. I got to be honest. Um, I am six one and, uh, this is basically chin height for me. <laughs> so, uh, you might have to raise that up depending on your height, but you do have that grab bar as well. It's about a five inch threshold stepping into the shower and all the metal work, the plexiglass kind of frosted look here, all very good condition, the rubber seals. I mean, the home is in great condition, it's turnkey. We have this upgraded kind of medicine cabinet mirror on this side. Wow, that's a lot of mirror. Inside and out with the glass shelves. That's actually really cool. I like that, what do you think of this? <laughs> actually, that is, I'm surprised that, I like the mirrored inside too, that's a, uh, that's a showstopper right there. Then we're going to have linen cabinets here to the back side. Check those out. So just your standard linen cabinets. Water closet to the right. No door for privacy. It looks like there was a door at some point, but they have removed it. So no door for privacy here. Um, now it is around the corner. So you wouldn't see someone in here until you get like kind of past this point right here. So there is a semblance of privacy, but you know, there's no door there. Let's see if there's a door here. There is a door on this closet and we're starting to get to a little bit of the unique features here. This is the first thing I wanted to show you. It's this large walk-in closet. We have that same laminate we saw in the bedroom there, but look at this backdrop here dare I call this cladding, but it looks like an actual real wood that they've done the entire closet in. What do you think of this? I actually think it feels and looks pretty cool in here. It's not like a traditional like type of flooring or, or any kind of thing you would actually put on the walls. It's all custom there. They just kind of bought the wood, cut it, and here it is. I like the look. It feels very cozy in here. Maybe it is like a flooring. There's, there's more pieces of it there. Maybe it is flooring. Let's see. What is this? Um, I mean, it doesn't have a, a backing on it, but that might be manufactured wood flooring. It's not laminate, it's real wood. Interesting, okay. Well, I'm not an expert on every type of material, but
but I will investigate for you and show you what I see and you can make your own decision. So yeah, that's uh, very interesting. So I wonder if it's glued onto the wall then, because I don't really know. They use nails. I see the little nail marks. Wow, interesting. Okay, so that's going to be your wood wall there. And if you get crafty and you want to do this wall, well, you have a little supply there. Then we have some extra overhead storage here. Big fluorescent light. And I think we spent too much time in the primary closet, so let's get out of here. Thanks for being here. Thanks for spending your valuable time with me. I'm Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas. Happy Nevada Day. Nevada is 160 years old today. And if you don't know what Nevada Day is, neither do I. It's just a holiday in Nevada and nobody works. Well, I work, but title, escrow, all closed, banks closed, schools closed. So um, it's just basically Nevada's birthday from what I hear. So. Happy Nevada Day to everyone. If you're not in Nevada yet, give me a call. We can get you out here. And uh, next year, make sure to celebrate. But yeah, I'm out here working. I work every day. I got to work tomorrow. I got to work Sunday. It's just the way it goes. Okay, so we are into what I believe to be an addition to this home. Because I have not seen a home like this. And I'm going to show you why this is here. Um, it's not just a dining area. We have kind of one of those behind us. Maybe this is the poker table, but we have this really upgraded, newer style uh, tile. It's about a 24 inch tile. So very large tile squares there. We have a very soft gray on the walls. Maybe just the tiniest drop of blue in there. We have roller shades on all the windows. And why is this here? Well. Great room for kind of a party room, maybe a bar, put your pool table here, a game room. But here's why this is here. Look at this. There's your strip view. Not only the strip view, you can see over into Southern Hills here, guard gated community with some very, very nice houses. I believe Mike Tyson lives over in that community. And then all the way over to the mountains, you can see Red Rock, which I don't know if I can point it out in here because I can't really tell, but I can see it in real life. Right over there is Red Rock, the National Park. You can also see Red Rock Casino out there as well, but I'm talking more about the National Park over there. Beautiful, but what a view. And at night, this is a thousand times more impressive. When it's this beautiful in the daytime, wow. Okay, and the other thing I wanted to point out, so... We're going to look over into the cul-de-sac here and you can see that there's just two homes here on the end of the cul-de-sac. That was the neighbor I met. Very nice guy. How's it going? Had a great conversation with him. But I think one of the overlooked aspects of buying a home is your view from the front yard. Because let's be realistic. Life is busy. There's a lot going on. You're in and out of your home. And let me ask you this. How often do you spend pulling into your home, driving up to your home, walking in and out of the front of your home versus the back of your home. Now, some people might use the back of their home every single day. I sit out back all the time. However, the reason I'm pointing this out is I think the overlooked aspect of a home is when you pull up at night, every night driving in here and seeing that view. Wow. I mean, that is just incredible. It just makes you feel good inside. I can see this little tiny spot on the strip right about there from my front, from my driveway, from my front yard when I pull in. And my part of town has beautiful strip views out from the street and when you're driving around. And I really enjoy that. And when I see, I can see the MGM Grand and that green building at night, it lights up green. I can see that, I can see the Luxor. And it's just it's so nice to see that from your home. And I just can't even imagine what it feels like to see this every single night when you pull out. What an added value. What a beautiful location here. And then they've also added this, feels like a back porch here, but I mean, really it's just the side of the home, but you wouldn't know it. Put a table and chairs out here and guess what? Now you're hanging out right here at night with that view. And if you haven't seen the Las Vegas Strip at night, Google it right now because it 
is all different colors. You can see the sphere, which in the afternoon will turn on and it'll start playing, you know, it'll do the smiley face. It'll look like earth. It'll look like a marble. Um, it'll have ads sometimes for the events going on. It'll be the Grateful Dead head. I mean, it is just so cool. And you can see it all and you can see all the way out to the far west, southwest side. I think we can see Discovery Park, which is in Mountain's Edge. I mean, just an insane view, really. And then you have all these homes here and the whole valley lights up. Just what a beautiful spot, beautiful home. Location, location, location. You can change a lot about your home. You can change windows, you can change doors, you can add rooms like this one. You can't change the location. That's the one thing you can't change. So location, location, location. The old saying in real estate, and it's just a very true statement. We're gonna see some indoor plantation shutters. We'll take a look at why and those in just a moment. This is gonna be the family room here. Like I said, we're gonna see some original stuff, some updated stuff, and some dated things in this home. You can see the quartz countertops here in the kitchen, but we'll get back to those. I do really like this tile. I don't think it's original to the home. Doesn't feel that old to me. We have this roller shade on the big slider here, and that is an eight foot slider. We have the big picture window looking out back. And then we have this built-in that is quite something else. What do you think of this built-in? I mean, there is room for a pretty large TV there. And if you got a lot of things or maybe a lot of books or a lot of different size things, I mean, this is quite the built-in here. So you're gonna get all this with the home. It does come with the home. If you didn't like this, you can definitely take it out. I'm pretty sure it's just sitting on the tile. So maybe some holes in the walls from where it's screwed in at the top. You know, you can see the screws at the top holding it into the wall. Um, and I think this thing's out of here. So if you didn't want it, or you could adjust it and change it around. Maybe you just want to take out the middle section, put a huge TV, keep these side ones, maybe reuse the cabin or the little shelves there. I don't know. You got a lot of options here. And that's your giant built-in. This is a really massive room here too. It's about 20 by 15, this whole area. And that's gonna include your kitchen nook here. I still will never figure out why they put the dining kitchen nook area right in front of the slider. I'll never get that, but you know, it happens so often. I guess they just designed the whole house and they end up right here and they're like, well, we need a slider and we need a kitchen nook. so. There and there, I guess. I, I don't know how that works, but you do have a nice big kitchen nook area here. Um, I'm sure there's a reason for it. If you know the reason, please let me know because I would love to know. Um, we have Bose speakers installed in the rear. That's really nice as well. And these are very nice speakers. A little dated, but they sound amazing. I have the same ones in black at my home. Kitchen's gonna be to the left. We'll be back there in just a second. All right, we're walking into this room now. And this is not a bedroom. So this home is a two bedroom, two, two bath, three bath, two bath, right? Two bedroom, two bath here. Um, this is an office, but a very large office, but definitely not a bedroom. I think you could make this into a bedroom if you wanted. And we do have these plantation shutters here separating like that family room and kitchen nook from this office. So like I said in the intro, very unique home. We have the built-ins here for the double desk, all the shelves on the wall there, recessed lighting, can light. And this office is so large. I mean, it's about 22 feet long and about 10 or 14 feet wide, depending on where you're at. You have the bay window area, and then you have this super large window looking out you can see the strip from here i don't know what you do over here what do you put on this side of the office this is a large room you could absolutely make a bedroom out of this just add a closet there's plenty of space for that again that very light gray with just a touch of ever so slight blue 
And what do you think this home is selling for? Please don't look it up, don't cheat. Just, just give me a good guess. Let me know in the comments. And please don't say 200,000. Like, come on, like be realistic, you know? I understand everybody thinks the housing market is overpriced, but nothing in this town is 200,000, so. If you are over 500,000, you're disqualified. So I'll give you a hint there. <laughs> Please start at least 500,000. But let me know what you think this is listed for. Does come with the built-in. Now, does this thing like, I see a hinge going across there. Does this like lift up or something? Yeah, this, I don't know why that would do that. This lifts up, there's like a hinge there. That's so odd. Because if it lifts up, I mean, what does that do for you? Is there really any advantage to having that with the hinge? You still have all this stuff over here. I don't know. A lot of mysteries in this home. Maybe we can figure them out together. And thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm Andrew Guyant, your local licensed realtor, trying to bring you everything out here on the market every day of the week, filming these home tours for you. The only channel that you get all of this content every day of the week. And again, new and old combination here. Half the home's already been remodeled for you. We have a quartz countertop, the undermount sink, the upgraded faucet there, upgraded mirror. The light might be a 2000, but the light bulbs aren't. We have the toilet. We have a little shelf here for your towel hook and towel rack there. And then we have some tile work here. It looks like some porcelain tile. We have the double soap box, which I saw this on a home recently and I loved it. I love if you just put a little thing across, even if your soap box is only this section, just put one right across here so you have a place for some items and then you also have room for your shampoos and things like that. The body wash, whatever you need. But I really like the two tier system there. And then more porcelain tile around the back a super upgraded. I've seen this a few places before. I mean, is that a shower head or is that a shower unit? We kind of have the car wash thing here where they shoot directly out at you as well. We have the wand then kind of a stonework type thing on the floor, about a six inch threshold stepping in really nice slider glass here. I mean, it is super solid with high-end rollers and chrome. Very, very nice door. So this, this shower definitely cost them some money when they redid it. It was probably just your standard porcelain tub with the tile backsplash. You know, nothing too fancy, but they've really done a great job with that, going all the way up to the nine feet. So that's gonna be bathroom number two. And we're about to see bedroom number two, but first a quick look in this cabinet here. I don't know if the safes convey with the home. We can always ask and find out if that's something you're interested in. I saw one in the primary closet as well. Then this is bedroom number two. So definitely a true bedroom with a lot of extra space. I mean, maybe that's your craft room back there. I mean, you have a lot of opportunity in this home. These walls seem to have a little bit of a yellow flavor to them. Let's call it a lemon. And uh, ceiling fan, a little bit dated there, but that's okay. Again, we get a, a mishmash of different things here. We're not gonna open the closet. It says don't touch, so I'm not gonna touch. And then we have this window that faces the cul-de-sac. Let's see if we have strip views from the window. We have, well, we can see, if we lean in, we can see the strip, but we can see South Point which is also beautiful at night. Close all gold there. We can see Red Rock. We can see the west side, Red Rock Canyon. So yeah, a lot of great views in this home. Let me know what you think the cost is. We're gonna check out the kitchen and then I'll let you know what the actual cost is. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being patient. And I hope you like my little game today. I don't do this very often. I usually give you the price right up front. So. Forgive me if this isn't your style. Always got to try new things, you know, after 
What, about 280 home tours here. Just got to mix it up a little occasionally. So we are into this kitchen now. Kitchen's been completely remodeled. They've painted the cabinets gray. Those are not new cabinet doors. Let's see if they replace the hinges. Um, I want to say they didn't. We have this beautiful black, uh, backsplash with the different color grays, a little bit of the stainless kind of with the pattern on it. Like this is like a stainless with the texture. We have an upgraded GE double oven here. Is it a double or a single? It is a double. You know, I saw one of these before. I said double and then I opened it and it was all one big unit. Very funny. Why did it have two handles in kind of that section? But it was uh, just a single oven or maybe it had two zones. I, I don't know. Either way, this is a double oven here. GE, you have the five burner gas range with the fifth burner being this little flat top there. Cook up those tortillas. We have a GE Avantium microwave here. Very nice, the space saver. And any bets on if we have a vent? I'm thinking we do. And we do, all right. There we go. I won my own little game there. I'm the winner, because I guessed correctly. We have the stainless steel, kind of restaurant style industrial table. I kind of like it, it's your little island here. It's a great solution if you want an island, you want some extra prep space, um, and you don't want to really mess up the floor or put it in permanently. That's great. You can just pull that right out if you like. We do have our pantry cabinets over here um, with some pullouts. Definitely uh, an interesting style of pullout, but I think it, it does the trick. It does what you needed to. Let's see if this one has it as well. It does. So, I mean, it'll do what you need it to do, which is pull out and access the back items there. We have under cabinet lighting, which is great, and that's controlled by a switch. And then the Maytag refrigerator. Maytag supposedly lasts a really long time from what they say on the commercials. We have the water and ice dispenser. If you have a Maytag, let me know. Have you experienced the same thing? I have a Maytag washer and dryer that have lasted at one of my properties and they've lasted for over 12 years now. Um, just one little hiccup with the water pump, but other than that on the washer, we have the farmhouse style single basin stainless sink. We have the water filtration system. That looks like mine. Um, there it is. You have the tank down there with the filters upgraded faucet and then a whirlpool dishwasher there you go now this home was definitely uh remodeled to live in this is not like a flip situation so these people just enjoyed their home they added things when they wanted they said hey you know what let's redo the kitchen and they redid the kitchen they said hey you know what let's add on a room so we can really exploit that strip view they added on a room i don't know how that got past the art committee but somehow they did, it looks great, and I'm glad they got to do that. I can't imagine it was cheap by any means. Speaking of cheap, let's talk about the price of this home. We're gonna walk out back. Now, in standard Sun City fashion, you had kind of options on what you were gonna do in your backyard, whether you had a fence, didn't have a fence, had a block wall, didn't have a block wall. So you can see a lot of iron fence work around here, really opens up the area. Someone here selected for a block wall, no problem at all, but they can't see their neighbors. Don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Guess it depends on your neighbors. But just a nice big covered patio here, built in outdoor kitchen here, just a little grill section. And then, yeah, this is all part of the home here. And it looks to be in great condition. And it is a big lot again, cause we are on the corner. Rose bushes in the back. And so the price of this home, it is listed for $395 a square foot. Again, right here, seeing the entire strip with a grand total of $875,000 for this home. But wow, I think this is really where your, your money goes because not many homes have a view like this. Just gorgeous. I love the cactus. I almost backed into it. So the video is going to get very interesting real fast. Luckily, I didn't. And I'm safe and it's time to go 
back to the office. So thank you for being here. Manager Guy with Simply Vegas. Hope you enjoyed this video today. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a, uh, that would be a like. I was going to say leave me a like, but that would be a like. So leave me a like, which is a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss these tours I put out every single day of the week. No matter what, even on Nevada Day, a state holiday where no one's working, I'm out here doing these tours for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe. Share this with a friend. And uh, I hope you guessed the price right. Thanks. See you tomorrow.